Hello friends, welcome to Inside Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. So friends, in the substation testing equipment series, today we will see what are the different kind of tests that can be done on the current transformer. We have already uploaded few videos about test of current transformer and in today's video we are going to learn about current transformer polarity test. What are basic three few pre-commissioning CT tests that are done? So first one is the polarity test that we will learn in today's video. Next is CT ratio test, CT knee point test. You can already get the links of this kind of test in the comments section or in the description section below. Next is 10 delta test and IR value test. So friends, let's learn about CT polarity test today. First of all, let us see what are the basic things that will be required to perform the polarity test. First one is a battery cell of 1.5 volts which will, will be easily available to you. Few extension wires. A galvanic. Okay. So we will first understand some basic things about CT as we have already discussed in our previous videos. So you can see over here friends. This is a basic CT structure. The primary winding you can see like this as P1 and P2. Okay. And the secondary terminal box is over here. When we look at what's inside the secondary terminal box, inside the secondary terminal box, you will find various terminals, city secondary terminals and various city points. Okay. So one is, it has three coils basically. One is 2S and 3S as you can see over here. Also the CT over here is having a dual ratio CT. It is a dual ratio CT, right? So how it is identified? Because it has each coil has three terminals. 1S1, 1S2 and 1S3. Similarly for 2S1, 2S2, 2S3 and also for 3S. Then there is a CT 10 delta point and CT earth point is given over here. Okay, let us see some more details about this winding. So we are having a CT with two ratios, 600, 300 by 1, okay? That means whenever six, it is connected to a ratio of 300, the primary will be having 300 amperes. You will get 1 ampere in the secondary. And whenever 600 amperes will be connected ratio, then 600 amperes will be con converted to 1 ampere. Let us see how the connections and everything is done. Okay, so this is a basic diagram of the CT core having primary, this one, the black line over here shows primary winding, having terminals P1 and P2 and the secondary is having three core over here, metering core, protection core and special protection core. In the previous videos friends, we have discussed the importance of each core, okay, and how the connections are done for this kind of cores. Now, inside each core, you will, it, as it is dual ratio, we are having three secondary terminals, 1S1, 1S2 and 1S3, okay? And whenever you want to connect for the ratio of 300 by 1 ampere, the connection will be made between 1S1 and 1S2. Similarly, 2S1 and 2S2 and 3S1 and 3S2. Whenever you want to connect the CT for the ratio of 600 by 1 amperes, the connection will be done as from 1S1 to 1S3 and similarly for other two cores. Right? Now let us understand the flow of current and what is the polarity for the CT and how the test is to be conducted in the further video. See as you can see over here, whenever 300 amperes is uh, flowing through the primary winding, 
on the secondary side we are getting 1 ampere because it is connected between 1s1 and 1s2 for our case now it is important to see that whenever the direction of current flow is from p1 to p2 p1 to p2 you will get the current will be flowing from r 1s2 to r 1s1 okay so this is the basic polarity of the ct okay and now we will check if the polarity of the ct is okay or not so let's uh, collect all our equipments and do few connections to perform the polarity test the first thing that we will need is a 1.5 volt battery cell second is few extension cables wires and important thing will be galvanometer so let's see how the connections are made from the primary side primary side p1 and p2 p1 is connected to the positive side of the cell and p2 is connected to the negative side of the cell okay for this is the connection to be done on the primary side and in the secondary side 1s1 will be connected on the positive side of a galvanometer and 1s2 will be connected on the negative side of the galvanometer this is for the ratio of 300 by 1 if the polarity is positive for positive polarity whenever we will connect this p1 to positive terminal the deflection will be in the positive side okay of the galvanometer let us see see whenever i will connect this if i connect this the deflection is on the positive side let us check it once more positive okay you can see the deflection is getting on the positive side so this is the positive polarity whenever the ratio is connected to say 600 by 1 okay so in that case also we have to connect 1s3 with the negative terminal and 1s1 with the positive terminal and we will see that what happens when we connect this p1 we will see the deflection will be on the positive side see the deflection is on the positive side okay so with this ratio also the ct polarity test is positive what will happen if the ct polarity is negative If the CT polarity is negative, then you will see that the deflection is occurring on the opposite side. Okay. So if the deflection is occurring on the opposite side, you will, whenever we will connect this, okay, the deflection will be on the negative side. That means the CT polarity is negative. Okay. See, whenever I will connect this, you will see the deflection is occurring on the negative side. So I will connect it and the deflection is on the negative side so this is the total conclusion table or you can say a schedule to test the polarity of the ct so as you can see for the primary connections positive is connected to p1 negative is connected to p2 and for secondary 1s1 is connected to positive 1s2 is connected to negative and the result will be deflection result will be positive similarly you can follow all these things and you can check the ct polarity test so friends we have seen the basics but in general in today's testing equipments are available to perform this kind of polarity test P, uh, P provision is already given for connections of P1 and P2, S1 and S2. Okay. This is a galvanometer already installed inside the kit itself. This is the switch and the push button is given whenever you want to make the connections. Okay. Turn on the switch, press the push button. You can see the direction of deflection, whether it is positive or negative. And based on this, you will easily understand the polarity of the CT. Right? So these are a few polarity test meters that are easily available in the markets and what we have learned is the basic concept about the CT polarity test.
friends this is all about ct polarity test in the next video we will see different kinds of tests that are conducted on the ct if you have any queries you can ask in the comment section below keep watching our videos thank you